Well, this man right here is about to be free. His life sentence changed after new attorneys raised questions about the handling of his murder trial more than two decades ago. Kente Lee was convicted of murder when he was only 14 years old. Channel 9's Mark Becker reported on the case when it first happened back in 1998 and was the only reporter in the courtroom today. Mark, prosecutors told you this release now is justice. Yeah, Erica, and it was a remarkable moment in the courtroom because you're looking at a man who's now 35 years old who was only 14 when he committed a horrible murder. But even prosecutors agree he should have been given a second chance at life outside of prison. Your Honor, this is the matter of Kente Lee. The Kente Lee who walked into the courtroom here this morning was a far cry from the teenager who'd been sentenced 20 years ago to life in prison without parole. Kente was only 14 when he and another 14-year-old beat a man to death with a hammer inside a public housing project in uptown Charlotte during a drunken party on New Year's Eve in 1998. Nine days later, Kente told detectives he'd simply lost control and attacked when that man began making sexual advances. Why were you fixing to get him? Because he, he had been, he'd been messing with me all night and I was... Scared, you know what I'm saying? A year later, the other teenager took a prosecutor's plea offer to second degree murder and was sentenced to 18 years in prison. He has since been released. But prosecutors never made that same offer to Kente Lee. And when a jury found him guilty of first degree murder, it brought a mandatory life sentence. Then, three months ago, Lee's attorneys and prosecutors agreed to throw out that conviction. Instead, Lee pled guilty to second-degree murder and would be released with credit for the time he's already served. This is justice because this defendant was 14 at the time of these crimes. His co-defendant was just a little bit older. Both were considered juveniles then and more so now since the law has changed. And this morning, about a dozen of Kente's attorneys and supporters were there as a judge made it official. Kente turned to those who had stood behind him in his legal battle, but didn't show much emotion as he left the courtroom on his way to freedom for the first time in more than 20 years. And his attorneys and those supporters had hoped that would have happened by now, but there was a hitch because the state's parole board has to sign off on this first. That could come as early as tomorrow. And when he does walk out of jail, Kente Lee will go into a program run by the Equal Justice Initiative. Erica, that's the group that's been made famous by the movie out now called Just Mercy. Erica? Yeah, that young man spending so much of his life behind bars, and now he has a new start. Thank you, Mark.